Okay, let's do stacks today and we'll take a conversion of infix to postfix and uh, we'll do this by showing the stack status after every step, right? So I'll take up a question here. Mm, let's take this a minus b into c divided by d plus e. This is the infix expression which has to be converted into a postfix expression, right? Now, before actually taking it up like this, I would like to put some more parentheses in this, more brackets in this, so as to make the problem more clear, right? Now, first of all, look at this. You have uh, this a minus b into c divided by d. Now, I have put one opening and closing bracket for this whole expression, right? And then you have got plus e like this, right? The uh, operator precedence of uh, multiplication is higher. So that multiplication will be done first, right? That means a minus b is inside a bracket that will be evaluated. c divided by d is inside a bracket that will be evaluated. And then both of them will be multiplied, right? So we have put this whole expression that is a minus b into c divided by d into one bracket, right? And then plus e is there. Now, the whole expression... I'll put it in a bracket like this. Got it? Now we will evaluate this expression. The first step. All the symbols have to be scanned, right, one by one. So what is the first symbol? It is this opening bracket. Whenever you read an opening bracket, it goes into the stack. The next one is again another opening bracket. This also goes into the stack. The third one is again opening bracket. <clears throat> this also goes into the stack. Now after that you have got A. A is the operand. Whenever you read an operand, that operand will always go into the postfix expression here. right? After that, the minus sign, it is an operator. The operator will always come inside the stack. Okay. So here you have A. The postfix is the same. Then we read B. B is an operand. As I said, the operand will go into the postfix. So here you have got A. After that, you write B. Right. Then the next one is the closing bracket. Now, when we come to the closing bracket, remember the closing bracket has to be matched with the opening bracket, the recent opening bracket. So here if I see, this is the closing bracket and this is the opening bracket for that. Now, what are the signs? What are the operators which are after that closing opening bracket? That is only minus, right? So that means... When I read this closing bracket, the minus sign has to be popped out into the postfix. That opening bracket will also go. Opening bracket will also go. And the minus sign will come here. Okay. That will go into the postfix expression. Now the stack is only, it's actually for the seventh step only what we have done, right? The stack is only two brackets now, right? After that, I come to the eighth step. Here, we have a multiplication sign. So now, multiplication sign is an operator, so it goes into the stack, okay? So this is A, B minus, like this, right? Okay, now this is the expression, sorry. The expression we have now we come to the ninth step after the multiplication sign again you have a opening bracket so now it goes into the stack like this right and then 
this one will be the same right and then after that opening bracket you have C the symbol scanned is C which is a operand so when we have a operand what happens it goes into the postfix like this then we have a division sign the division sign will go into the stack it is a operator right operator goes into the stack and here the postfix will remain the same like this right now I'll just rewrite that uh, expression here <coughs> a minus b sorry a minus b into c and t plus e right okay now we have done up to this division sign here right now after the division sign what do you have d right so this is d here d is a operand so this is the stack will remain the same and this will become a b minus c d like this right after d what do you have after d there is a closing bracket right so here the next step is a closing bracket when you come to this closing bracket the corresponding opening bracket for this is here right fine so now what is the operator after that division that division has to be popped out fine so here what will be the stack now the stack will be only up to this place from that opening bracket it will be popped out right okay so a b minus c d and then you will have a division right okay after that closing bracket that is c divided by d after that closing bracket there is one more closing bracket right so now you see for this closing bracket for this closing bracket which one is the corresponding opening bracket it is this one for this one it is this one and what is the operator after that multiplication so here what happens in this case when we read that closing bracket this opening bracket will be there and the other things will be popped out right so this is a b minus c d division and then this multiplication is popped out right after that you have plus the plus operator is coming after that right now when you do this one this is only one bracket in the stack here in the previous step right okay a b minus c d this was it right okay now when i read the plus sign this one bracket is there and after that the plus sign comes right a b minus c d slash this now the last one after that plus sign you have a closing bracket right now you have only one opening bracket corresponding to this and after that there is a plus sign here the stack becomes empty here the stack becomes empty and whatever operators are there that will be popped out so basically this this is what you get and this is what is your final answer so the postfix expression here is a b minus c d divided by and then into and then plus this is how the conversion is to be done from an infix into a postfix and when you have to show the stack status after each and every step right the basic things that you have to remember here is whenever an opening bracket is scanned it is put into the stack whenever an operand 
is can it is put into the post fix expression right whenever operator like minus plus multiplication divide whatever it may be it is put into the stack right and when you encounter a closing bracket the operators are popped out so when you encounter a closing bracket the corresponding opening bracket for that is found right like in this case we did this is a closing bracket we look for a corresponding opening bracket for that that will be the recent one so whatever expression you have in this sorry whatever operator you have in this we have got only one operator in maybe in uh, some questions you may have more than one operator also after this bracket so both the operators will have to be popped out right so here we had this minus operator that we popped out right same way here we encountered one closing bracket and for this closing bracket this was the opening bracket so this division sign was popped out here we had one closing bracket for this this was the opening bracket multiplication sign was popped out right the last one was this this is the closing bracket here this one and the opening bracket for this is here so the plus sign is popped out fine and when you have a question like this it's always better to put the brackets properly and then start evaluating the question right without the brackets if you start doing this question it might give you a wrong answer because uh, the order of evaluation goes wrong right in the case of a manual uh, conversion we did it without putting the brackets there it is not needed but in case of stacks it is better to put a put proper parenthesis and then go with the uh, question right so i would end this session now i'll take up uh, one more question for this uh, in fix to post fix by showing the stack status in my next session in which we will take a, a bit uh, longer expression which has got exponentiation or something else in that right okay so today i'll end the session with this bye